What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today I'll be sharing with you guys 3 ways to make your Photoshop run faster if you are working on a large file with a lot of layers and the Photoshop is starting to slow down or lag or if your Photoshop is normally slow but it's just getting slower because you are piling up layers more and more and more. So let's begin. Before I share with you guys the first technique, I'd like to explain why your Photoshop slows down or lags. Now, the higher the number of layers in a Photoshop document, the bigger the file size will be. And the bigger the file size is, the more memory it will consume and RAM and everything to make it continue to process those layers smoothly. Now, if your laptop doesn't have those resources to start to slow down, that's why it slows down. So to check the size of a layer or of the entire document, you just come to the left hand corner of the screen. You see this arrow, click on it. And select document sizes you see that you see the size of the layer and also the size of the document itself if you want to see the number of layers just click on the arrow again and select layer count now in this document i have 36 layers which is a lot and 10 groups i finished retouching this image right here so there are a lot of layers here let me open all of them so you see how many there are yeah that's a whole lot of layers so let me change this back to document sizes. Now let me create a new layer here and try to paint with a black brush. You see how slow it is to respond. My laptop is not normally this slow but just because I'm recording a video is taking up much of my memory. Now I'm going to make it run faster. The first technique I'm going to show you is actually destructive which means that once you do it, you won't be able to work on those layers again. So you have to make sure that you are done working on those layers before you apply this technique. So the first technique is merging the layers together. That is, you select all of them and flatten them into one single layer. That way, all those 30-something layers will become one and won't take up that much space. So since I'm done with this, um, with this picture, I'll just select all the layers, all the 36 or was it 38 layers and then right click on my mouse and select merge layers if you are not using mouse just press command e or control e if you're on mac or pc and wait for the layers to merge now that the layers are merged and everything is now one file just look at the file size all the way from 1.18 gigabyte to 276 mb now let me try painting over this image and you see how faster it is now you see it's much faster than before so that's the first technique let's move on to the second technique okay the second technique i'm going to share with you guys is similar to the first one just that this time it is not destructive which means that even after you compress them into one file you still be able to edit those pictures if you want to afterwards so this this technique is, all, is also merging them together but this time not into a single layer but into a smart object. So what it will do, it will, it will create a separate document and then link the document to this document. Photoshop will be tricked to believe that it is one layer but actually it's a whole document that is just linked to here. So anything that you do in the other document and save there will reflect here. So let's make sure the layers here, I'll select the layer 1 and then select the last layer here and then right click again and select convert to smart object now this will take some time just so you just have to wait for it to finish okay the file is done merging and as you can see it's now 190.4 megabyte out of 800 and something megabyte that it was previously now this is the new layer and you can still edit it you can turn it off you can turn it on photoshop thinks it's a sim single layer but it's actually a whole file on its own so to assess all the layers that you just compressed into this smart object you double click on this smart object thumbnail here and it will open it up okay it is done opening it up and as you can see here is it has opened as a new file in photoshop this is the previous one and this is the new one so any change that you make here and save will reflect on the other one. Remember, you have to save the changes after you made it here to reflect on the other one. So let me make a change here. I'll just add hue and saturation and then increase the saturation significantly. Like I really, you can see how bad it is now. 
I'll now save it here by pressing Ctrl A or Command A depending on which platform you're working on and then wait for it to finish saving. Okay, after it is done saving, it will bring up this window saying updating smart objects. Just wait for it to be done. Don't cancel it. Wait for it to be done. Now it is done updating the smart object. Just go back to the to the main layer and as you can see here, it is done like it is reflecting. The changes we made there is now reflecting here. I can turn off the layer and turn it on and I can even close this window. You, know, you don't need to keep this window open since you saved it. So all those changes I made there, that change I made there is now reflecting here. And if I want to go and do any other thing, I just have to double click to open up that file again and any change I make and save there will show up here again. So that's it for the second technique. For the third technique, that one is when you are saving the file. So if you notice when you are working on a big file and you try to save it, it will take a whole lot of time if your hard disk is not fast. So to make it faster, just go to preference and then select file handling. Under that, click on disable compression of PSD and PSB file. Now, when you are trying to save normally, and enable that is when the compression is enabled your photoshop is doing two things compressing the file and saving it and that will slow it down two times but when you disable the compression photoshop will focus more on just saving but the only thing is that the file size will be much bigger so when you are saving make sure you save it as a psd file not as a psd file because psd file is limited to about two gig so but psd can go as big as it wants so if you want to save that let me since i already saved this document let me just click on save as and then when the window comes up you select large document format that is the psb you can see it has changed from psd to psb don't save as photoshop just save as large document format and then click on ok and you notice that it will be significantly faster than if you were to wait for it to compress and then save. So those are the three techniques to make your Photoshop faster if you are working on a huge file with a lot of layers. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any question, leave it down there in the comment section. See you guys in the next one. Bye.